What's up guys, Juicy Mercy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to have some transfers where we take a look at some potential deals as well as some done deals over the last day or so guys. So as always, if you smash 2,000 likes that'd be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me know this be the best rumour and best signing of the episode. Have you to my channel, click subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And before we actually get into it, I quickly want to say I know I've only been uploading transfer videos over the last couple of weeks or so and that's in the fact that I don't really play FIFA 15. I haven't touched FIFA 15 Ultimate Team for about three weeks now. But from Monday there should be a lot more new content for you guys to actually see. Uh, that isn't all transfer related so keep an eye out for that and uh, again FIFA 16 is just around the corner and we can start things off then with the confirmed deals and the first one is going to be a new Brazil for Valencia and that is going to be Adelan Santos formerly of Braga he's actually joined Valencia today in the BVA for seven million pounds I personally can't say I've watched much of him I have actually never heard of him um, but I imagine for that fee he's pretty pretty decent and gone to a, a good team that's good at developing players at least in Valencia and I move on to uh, players actually not on FIFA 15 and that is going to be Giardino he's F Guangzhou Evergrande in China to join Palermo back in Italy where he's uh, mainly played throughout his career and uh, I don't know he's not a great card on FIFA to be fair and probably a shit slow for a striker and now we've got Sean Maloney who's actually left uh, MLS already uh, formerly of Chicago Fire and joined Hull City in the championship no fees been mentioned but he actually didn't last very long in America probably actually moved there too early to be honest he's still got a lot left in him and is decent for a championship player now we go on to the next one which is going to a former Man City player Bianchi he's gone to Mallorca in the second tier of the Spanish football for a free transfer from Bologna and now we've got Tom De Sutter he's actually gone to Bursa Sport in Turkey. They seem to be signing a lot of players right now. He signed for £1.54 million. Pounds. And now we have got Hyunmin Son, probably the biggest one of the day for me, going to Tottenham. He signed for £21 million pounds and I think it's €30 million Euros if you are from Europe. But I mean, I actually covered this in yesterday's video. A fair few of these uh, done deals actually were linked yesterday and have been confirmed today. But it's a pretty good one for them. Um, I mean, they, they need to sign some players. I imagine they're not done in the market just yet. Uh, it probably like, crushes the Blassie rumours, but still a very good player. He hasn't really got a weak foot and that also means actually quite versatile. He can play anywhere down the front line uh, whether it be left hand side right hand side or also down the middle and they've actually replaced him by Leverkusen with this guy Kevin Campbell from Borussia Dortmund so they signed him for 7.7 million pounds he didn't really last too long at Dortmund to be honest I think he actually signed back in January and he's already gone but uh, apparently like his former manager at uh, Salzburg is actually the manager of Leverkusen they've replaced uh, him and some very well and pretty cheap as well so as always it is good business by the German club and uh, they tend to be very good at their money as, as well as very good at making money from players and now we've got Ola Toivonen who has gone on loan to Sunderland from Stad Ren in France. Um, I've heard not very good things about this guy, to be honest, but again, he may uh, want to prove people wrong in the Barclays Premier League. Then we've got Juraj Kutcher. I can't say this guy's name, but he has joined AC Milan. He left Genoa for £2.2 .2 million pounds or €3 million, Euros, again, if you're not from England. And it's actually quite a good uh, player for FIFA. If you look at him, I think he's quite tall as well for a centre midfielder, but I mean, he opens up a few more hybrids, I suppose. And um, Milan, definitely, they're spending quite a bit of money this summer. And now we have got uh, Hoiberg of Bayern Munich actually going out on loan to Schalke. I mentioned this in yesterday today's video a good deal for them and this one surprised me a lot Marcos Lopez to Monaco he may only be 65 races on FIFA but that'll boom up next year and this guy's got so much potential about him and Man City just let him go for 8.4 million pounds I think Pellegrini last week said he wasn't for sale at all I know Man City fans definitely rate this guy very highly so it's quite a big surprise to see him go to Monaco and the final player is going to be a championship sign that is going to be Fernando Amorabieta and that is to Middlesbrough on a loan deal and now they move on to the potential transfers and first up we've got a Borussia Dortmund player that's kind of been considered a flop and that's going to be Adrian Ramos who they only signed last season. Today he's into a BPL move to Sunderland. So the article from Build says that Adrian Ramos is set to leave Borussia Dortmund for Sunderland and the Black Cats have actually offered him a three year contract. So again he's been a bit of a flop in Germany and made it to like kind of uh, refine his form in the Barclays Premier League. Now we have got Jordan Lesko potentially going to Aston Villa. And today according to ESPN says that Aston Villa actually agreed a fee with West Brom for the defender but however West Brom wants to sign a replacement before they actually sell him. So imagine this one may go until deadline day because uh, obviously West Brom need to get a player in before they they sell him and now we go on to another player which is going to be Johnny Evans probably kind of considered Deadwood at Manchester United and today that could be the replacement for Joe and Lescott at West Brom and talks will have said that West Brom have agreed a fee of Manchester United for the defender Johnny Evans he's 27 years old and he's actually been allowed to have a medical at the Hawthorns ahead of a completing the move and again that opened the door for Lescott to leave for Aston Villa again that's according to Talksport. so I don't know how reliable they are to be honest and we've actually got Lazar Markovic potentially going on loan to the Premier League new boys Watford and again this is Talksport saying this and he's actually saying that Watford are hoping to make a late move for Liverpool's Lazar Markovic after he, uh, last season he signed for £20 million pounds, by the way from Benfica it says the Hornets are hoping to beat Fenerbahce for the winger who apparently have agreed a loan deal and as a Liverpool fan in fact to choose between Fenerbahce and Watford for him to go out and get some experience I'd probably choose w uh, Watford just the simple fact that I wanted to get used to the Premier League and hopefully he could do so at Watford and there's another Liverpool player linked with Watford today and that is going to be Fabio Barini who Liverpool have been trying to shift on for a long long time now he was actually linked with Sunderland before but apparently they're not willing to pay his big wages and according to Demarzio, quite a reliable source again 
he could be going to Watford. They seem to have an Italian link at that club and today it says that uh, Watford have joined the race to sign Liverpool striker Fabio Barini and the former Chelsea man is set to leave Anfield before the close of the transfer window but uh, the, the, the wage seems to be the kind of like stepping block that people aren't really interested in paying. And the final two of two very big ones. The first one is going to be Felipe Anderson of Lazio. Today he's linked to Manchester United according to Tuto Cataweb. I think it's an Italian based uh, site by the way. Don't really uh, like go by how I pronounce that but apparently they're quite good and today they said that Manchester United have actually launched a bid for the Lazio star. £29 million of the fee and the Brazilian attacking midfielder will also include add-ons. So I mean £29 million plus it's a big fee but they get a good player out of it. I think Lazio actually did make it into the Champions League after not qualifying through the qualification stages. So he actually may be open to a move to a Champions League club and Manchester United obviously can offer that. And the final player then is going to be Julian Draxler potentially leaving Schalke to go to Wolfsburg. One of their rivals but he also is actually linked with Juventus as well. So today build are saying that Wolfsburg have joined Juventus in the race for Julian Draxler and the Bundesliga side want him because Kevin De Bruyne looks like he will be joining Manchester City. He would be a very good replacement and for Kevin De Bruyne he's actually been left out of Wolfsburg's team for tonight's game uh, which is Friday night which could be an indication that he may be on his way out and uh, they get a big fee out of him but Julian Draxler would be a very good replacement for him. And on that note guys let's get some of today's potential transfers as well as a done deal so I mean there'll be a lot more transfers before Tuesday which is the deadline day I do believe so I mean got a lot to cover and hopefully some big deals will go through before then guys. So as always if you smash 2,000 likes that'd be absolutely awesome in the comments below let me think the best signing of the episode add me to my channel class subscribe for daily fifa content guys so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time